Hello YouTube, today I will be showing you guys how to scrap these computer speakers. These are some JBL Pro speakers. I tried to sell them, I was going to sell them, but because JBL is a really high quality brand, but it got water damage, so I won't even try to sell it. So anyway, so what I want to do first is since there is no screws anywhere, there's usually some screws that hold down the speakers on the front. And then the other one with the wire, which is actually this one, does not have it, but these do. So this piece here has some uh, ports on it. So, yeah, these are two different separate speakers. So yeah, all you gotta do first is basically undo the front metal grill that holds these um, all the screws behind it. So this part is a steel piece, and here's a little piece of cloth. So now we got these front pieces. These two speakers, little main speaker, little tweeter. So, what you want to do is just ah, okay, I see what you're doing. So we're gonna have to use some Torx bits here. So we're gonna find the right Torx bit to fit it. Needs to be bigger. And the fourth juice comes out. And now the light's not wanting to get out. There we are. That was annoying. So, here we got ourselves a speaker. So, we could sell. There's a little piece of copper in there and a little voice coil. Two pieces of copper that connect to this outer band here. So, if you remove those two, then you're pretty much good to go. For the small one. Okay, so it looks like we got ourselves a little 
interesting, but a axial lead capacitor right there. Traded at 2.2 microfarads, 50 volts. Standard capacitor. I'm guessing it's some kind of filter. It looks like. Pull out the wire here after pulling out these two wires. We can pull this out and get our wire. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. There's some number two insulated with a little couple components on it. So you want to remove those before you sew it. And then the rest of it's plastic. Also, some more number two insulated for the cable on the outside. Now for this one, the procedure will pretty much be the same. Just pull out the metal grill. Another piece of steel with some felt. And repeat the same procedure on the second speaker. All right, so once you pulled out both of them, the procedure is the same. I was able to pull out a whole bunch of insulation at the same time. So now we just put all the wires that connect speakers and stuff now since there's a um, circuit board I'm going to kind of break up in this box. There we go. So, going back on a little tab allows us to release the little driver. I don't know, just the main circuit board. And there's this is plastic. It's a nice little board. I was expecting there to be a leopard board, but since I guess this is a higher precision equipment, they use better quality electronics. So this piece is on number two. However, you, if you, depending on your yard, you may need to remove the ends of the wire connectors. Hmm. Looks like. These screws are also Torx bits. And they're pretty large too. I'll need to pull these out. Let's see if this driver will work. And yes, it does. It works flawlessly. Sweet. Okay, and now I'm just going to remove the second screw. And once I do that, this whole thing should come loose. I need to rotate. These little edges, edge connectors, that hold that in place. So that is preventing me from undoing the screw. This is really complicated because there's a little tab there that's holding this in place. 
which is preventing me from doing that. So I'll need to pull back on the little uh, metal bracket. And then I'm able to pull it loose. And there we go. So it's just a low grade board, but it's green on both sides. So depending on your scrap yard, they may accept it as a higher rate. But this is just a low grade. This piece here is just some stainless steel. And that's about it. So it's a pretty simple thing. It takes only a few minutes and, well, you can get some steel, a circuit board, and a couple of speakers and a little bit of wire. So I hope you found that video interesting and useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future from the Scrap Man. And if it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you guys later.